And he landed on both of his feet and sprained both of his ankles and, of course, curled into a fetal position and began to cry. Right. He was really, really hurt. Now, to, <laughs> to, to appreciate the horrible moment <laughs> that I'm now describing, also understand that it's a Friday night. We are in a college town, and there is a volunteer fire and ambulance department. And in order to summon the rescuers from wherever they are, an alarm is sounded that can be heard for five miles. That alarm is located right over this theater. So the alarm goes off. Okay? This is an air raid siren. It is so loud, you, you can put your fingers in your ear and it's still hurting your ears. We're right under it. It can be heard for five miles. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute, and then of course, three minutes later, busting through the door of the theater are these, you know, fifteen firemen, who are in boots, hats. They got hoses. They don't know what it is. All they know is that they've been sent out on a call. Right. And to sort of add to the chaos, the <laughs> the director, of course, has sort of flogged the actors that the show must go on, no matter what. So no matter what. So while all of this is happening and people are sort of several people are attending to David and other people are have just now like decided that since the firemen are here, he's gonna be fine, they can start laughing. And now the audience has has just completely lost control. <laughs> people are standing up in their seats and shouting for more. They want blood. I mean at this point people are actually injured in the production <laughs> and they want more. Somehow that's how this entire play ended. What's interesting about about this as a fiasco, I feel I feel like the thing that makes me understand about fiascos is that is that the fiasco itself is an altered state. That is all the normal rules are off. You have left the normal rules of how the audience is going to interact with the actors. Right. I've never seen a production like this and I've never seen an audience collapse like this. See, but I wonder like when you think about what people go for theater f- to theater for, like what kind of release people want. I mean, people want an experience that will take them out of our, themselves. We all want an experience that will take us out of ourselves and into a- another place and another reality. Right. And it sounds like this production, even though it was a fiasco, in fact, because it was a fiasco, was more successful at that than any conventional play could be. Well, see, I would disagree with this. See, I think, you know, the old theater critics, you know, the the ancients would say that the reason you go to the theater and to see a great production is to be, I think the word they used to use is transported. The idea being that you would be lifted away from your animal nature and into these higher, more spiritual realms or being get in touch with these these greater yeah. tragic emotions, right? But right. of course what happened here was the exact opposite. We got transported directly in touch <laughs> with our animal being. <laughs> our baser selves. Right. But, you know, that's almost as rare, if not more so, than a great production. Mm-hmm. 